guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl. Today we're gonna be doing my Halloween haul, part two, Disney edition. Okay, I had to film this two separate days because I had a bunch from like TJ Maxx and other places, and then I went to the Disney park like a couple weeks later, but I won't put out any of my Halloween stuff until I film the video. So I filmed the first part earlier, so we're gonna watch that now. Okay, so Macy from the past here. I know you guys have seen this outfit already in another video. I'm filming two videos today. I wanted to film the first part of my Disney haul so that I could use it and decorate with it because I'm going to Disney in a couple of weeks. I know when get a lot more that we're gonna add in after you guys watch this portion. So I will let you know where everything is from and I'm just gonna share it with you. I love Disney, I love Halloween, I love Nightmare Before Christmas, and I got really excited, found some really good things. So we're gonna dive right in. Okay, at Box Lunch, I actually placed an order, like one of the first things that I got, which I normally don't do, but they were having a big sale. I wanted to make a Halloween box gift basket for Jeff of themed things that he would like because I always do it for my girlfriends and my mom. And so I found this amazing Nightmare Before Christmas flannel. This is the back. It's black and white and it's got Jack on it. Now, I usually try to avoid long sleeves here for Halloween because it's so hot, but we do like to wear them at night and he likes to wear them more than I do, so I thought that would be super, super cute. As an add-on, just to get free shipping, I got these Jack and Sally necklaces. They're like best friend necklaces, but honestly, I'll probably keep them both because I don't have a ton of necklaces and I thought that'd be really cute. They're like little tarot cards. And then I got these little Jack pumpkin lip balm duos that were super, super cute. It's like Jack Skellington and a pumpkin you can just like throw in your purse. Okay, at Marshall's, this was like almost my main ISO in search of for the year. So I got these Mickey and Minnie new stoneware mugs. This is the new design they came out with for this year. This is from Zryk Brands. These are the nice quality like hard stoneware mugs that you can dishwash. And so I got his and hers. I love the ones that I got last year. I love this design. They're kind of like etched two and those were $5.99 and then I got two of these ramen bowls that also kind of match a little bit of a different design I love making ramen like in the fall and I love having these deeper bowls and they're again that nice stoneware okay then at Marshall's I got this amazing spider web Mickey plate that goes with some mugs that I got last year again that nice quality and I actually only have like two larger plates like this and I just love that it's kind of like subtle Disney and then they had these tiny black salad plates they're not tiny but they're like salad size that match I also got a matching tray that's fabulous this one was 12 $12.99 and then another tray that is a pumpkin theme so you'll see this upcoming as well. They're both $12.99. I think I got both of these at Marshall's so I got these pumpkin Mickey latte earrings. They are from Bobble Bar. These were on their website last year for like $40 and these pumpkin Mickeys as well. They're both $12.99 which is incredible because Bobble Bar is so expensive on their website. If I'm wiggling a little bit, sorry you guys, I'm like running back and forth so sometimes I knock my ring light gently. At Marshall's I got this amazing Jack Skellington teacup. Now I wish this was smaller the way that my other teacups are but I love it and this is actually a pretty good quality. I'm assuming it's still hand wash but pretty cute and only six dollars. Okay then I got these amazing snow globes at Marshall's. So this is a Jack Skellington snow globe and it is amazing. And then I got this Mickey and Minnie pumpkin one. This is Happy Halloween. And these were both 17 and I don't really have any snow globes and I was really wanting one. I think I have one like skeleton astronaut one. Also found this Jack Skellington cookie jar that I absolutely love. He is so cute. So this one was 25, a little bit pricey, but the Disney stuff kind of is. I like that it's his whole body. I like that he's a little bit smaller because not this year, but normally I will do a Nightmare Before Christmas theme bathroom and this guy will fit really well on my shelf, whereas some of the bigger ones won't. Speaking of that, I also found this soap dispenser, which I think is resin, which is fine, but this was $12.99. Again, I like that it's like his little body as well. Last year at Grocery Outlet, which is a grocery store I shop here, they had a ton of Disney stuff that they had really on sale because they had too much of it. So these were selling for like six dollars and they had them on sale for like a dollar. So I got a bunch for like giveaways and things. I got these cute spiderweb ones, Mickey Vampire, and then some different towels and things and these were all like a dollar to a dollar fifty. All right, I usually go to the Disney Outlet at the end of the season and last year I went and I found these amazing pillows. So this is a pillow 
Solo set was at the Disneyland Parks last year, but they have it at our outlet. And these were 45 regularly, like together. And I think I got them for like 10 or 15 on sale. So cute. I also got this little ghosty hat that again, I really wanted at the park. It was $7.99 and I believe additional like 30% off. Super cute. And then lastly, I got this Deadly Nightshade cookie jar. That is incredible. It's very large. I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna put it. I might keep it in my office. I might fill it like a flower vase. But this one was 30, a little bit pricier. These are definitely like the breakable ceramic. They're definitely more delicate. So you gotta be really careful, but I love it so much. Okay, you guys, so that is everything for this part. Stay tuned to watch the rest of the haul. I got so much amazing stuff, I was so excited. So these are all the things that I found after filming that portion. One of the things I got for Christmas last year was actually the Costco Disney Halloween house. My mom got it for me. She actually found it on eBay because we missed the boat last time and I didn't know that it was gonna come back this year. It did come back this year. I don't know if it's still available, but kind of keep your eye open for next year they always do something for Christmas and Halloween. So I'm gonna put a clip of it all set up for you guys so you can see everything here. Okay, so this is part of the house that was from Costco from Disney. We have Donald and Daisy and there's just like so much detail. And then it came with like these little figurines you can put around it, spooky tree and the little lantern. I added some of these little gravestones that I got at the Target dollar spot. This gate came with it actually as well. This house did not. I actually found this at Ross and I just felt like it went really well. And then I got this little like cobblestone path at Target. And then there's some more pieces over here. Sorry, I know it's kind of dark in here. I'll do a better filming when I do my house tour. But this came from Target, but we have Mickey and Minnie on a gravestone, another tree, little Mickey and Minnie's kids. I got this little bridge again from Target. And then this little clock tower came with it. I love this little bat detail. This gravestone also came with it. And then this spooky tree as well. That tree back there I got at Target a couple years ago. So this is the display like right over my entertainment center. I'll show you everything lit up closer to Halloween when I do my house tour, but I just wanted to show you the main house. So it lights up like this and then it also makes sound. <laughs> pretty cool and there's some other pieces that light up as well. It was my favorite Christmas present. It looks so good on my entertainment center. It's so fun and has started my haunted house collection that I have begun this year, which has become a whole thing. Okay, so I got a couple more things at like TJ Maxx, Home Goods places, and then we're gonna dive into the things that I got at the Disney park. So I got these earrings recently. I know you can't see them super well, but they're like Mickey and his ears have like spider webs and I think they glow in the dark. Again, more bobble bar earrings. I've become obsessed. And I finally found vampire Mickey earrings as well that I've been hunting for, also from bobble bar. So now I have a complete collection of Disney bobble bar earrings, which is so much fun. And then at TJ Maxx, I also got these salad pasta bowls that have Mickey on them. The Disney dishes were so cute this year. This is actually my favorite style of bowl plate to eat off of. I will choose this over a plate anytime. It's perfect for salads, pasta, whatever you want. So I got two of these. They go with my Halloween dishes that are kind of like mix and match. Okay, then everything else I got at the Disney parks. A couple of these things might be available on their website. Most of them are kind of like exclusive to the parks, but I thought it'd be fun to share them anyway. I actually am now adjacent friends to a cast member. My sister has a friend that's a cast member, and because of that, we got to go to this cast member only discount store that they had open for a few days. I got two Halloween things there, and they were both outfits. <laughs> so I got this Haunted Mansion shirt. So cute. It says, Call the Spirits. It has nothing on the back, which is kind of rare for Disney. It's got Madame Leota in the corner. And I feel like this is so cute because I will wear this when it's not Halloween too because the colors are great. I don't think I have any Haunted Mansion shirts, so yay. These were all like heavily, heavily discounted. These, I believe, were all the designs from last year. And then I got this Haunted Mansion t-shirt which says, you may now kiss the bride and she has like her little hatchet. And again, good for not Halloween and it has like a little hood and it's just really like unique looking. So very excited to find these, especially on sale. Two things at World of Disney. These are the things that I think might be available on Shop Disney. So I got this Headless Horseman cup. You guys, I am really obsessed with Sleepy Hollow. I don't know why. I did not like the original book. Ichabod is so annoying. But the overall story and the movie and everything I'm obsessed with and just like the aesthetic. So he is like a little headless horseman and it says Ichabod and Mr. Toad's Adventure, which I still need to go on. So we're gonna 
going to do that sometime soon. But this is like a nice quality stoneware. This was 20 but I have 10% off because of my pass. This is like a really, really good quality mug though, so that's great. And then I said I wasn't going to get this one because I already have a Mickey pumpkin mug, but then I saw it in person and it was like way cuter than I was expecting, so I got this year's Mickey pumpkin mug. I haven't liked the last couple of years. I wish this was not so teal. Um, but it's okay. He's got little flames for eyes. Again, this is just a really good quality like stoneware mug. The Mickey pumpkin mug that I got from TJ Maxx is adorable, but it is very delicate. So I don't drink out of it. I use it for like display, but this one I drink out of and it's just, oh, it's so cute. I love him. And this one was also 20. Okay. And then lastly, I got a couple tchotchkes. So I didn't go ham this year like I have before. There's like one more thing that I might try and find. They had so many good Halloween things. So I got this Mickey pumpkin glow cube that lights up and these are just fun to like put in your drink at like a party. They don't keep anything cold or anything. They're just like a festive thing. And they're also like really cute decor. And I don't know, I've become obsessed with them and this might be my favorite one now. I got this poison apple cup. But now you guys have seen my other poison apple cup in a different video and this is the one that I had for Halloween and that is black and iridescent and purple and I love it. This one I will use more for Halloween time photos and stuff and these types of things you have to get at various places in the park like restaurants or like carts and things like that. I saw the popcorn buckets this year but I don't know if I'm a huge popcorn bucket person. I don't know if I have anywhere to put most of them. I think I have one from Christmas but I usually don't get them. I like the sippers better because I can actually use them as like a drink cup. So that is everything that I've gotten Disney Halloween themed so far. I'll probably grab a couple more things before the end of the year. They will be featured either in vlogs or a final Halloween haul video. Let me know if you love Disney down below in the comments. Let me know if you enjoy videos like these. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at The Bright Side Girl. I hope you're having a great spooky season and I will see you next time on The Bright Side.